Hey guys, welcome back to Chef Talk and welcome back to another, it's not really an unboxing video, it's kind of an unboxing video, but it's more of a tasting video as well. Um, we are going to try, and let's see if I remember how to do this, Feastables by Mr. Beast. So we have every single one of his candy bars in here, plus we have the new Carl gummies. So we're going to try those out today as well. Now I'm going to be completely honest guys, except pretty much for um, Mr. Beast bar these nuts, I've pretty much tried all the rest of these. Now I did have videos for these ones that we tried, but I was with someone at that time that is no longer in my life, and so those videos no longer exist, at least not on my phone or equipment. So, <laughs> and I don't think I'll... I'll ever see those videos again. So I decided that I am going to try these on camera in front of you guys and give you my honest opinion. I am, I haven't tried the gummies either. The gummies are brand new. So these nuts and the gummies are brand new. Everything else is um, I have tried before. But again, I am going to give you my honest opinion and tell you what I think about these. Now, I don't know why I put all of them out. Jeez, my phone is blowing up. I'm glad I have my watch on today. But um, one of the things about these bars as well is the simple fact that they have very few um, ingredients. So like here we are, we'll try their first one, the quinoa crunch chocolate. Now, I will say there's five ingredients, like they say on here. There's five, five, four, five, six for the crunch bar, five, and seven for the um, nuts bar. I'm going to come out right now and say it. Most of these are dark chocolate. I'm not a big fan of dark chocolate. I prefer um, milk chocolate. I know milk chocolate is not the best for you. Dark chocolate is best for you. It's just my preference. I'm not a very kind of bitter chocolate person. So... First up is the Quinoa Crunch Bar. Let's give this one a shot. Maybe my you know, opinions on these have changed and stuff like that. We'll see. I'm trying not to like destroy it because I don't want to... I didn't bring my water in. I was going to bring my water in. It's a, and it has a little share. Sadly, it is dark chocolate for the quinoa crunch. I love the crunch, again, but the dark chocolate to me overpowers it. And then I'm not a dark chocolate fan, so take it or leave it. If you're a dark chocolate fan, you're probably going to love these bars. And I'll try not to complain too much. I'll just tell you that I can taste the dark chocolate and see it. Next up, we're going to do Mr. Beast, the chocolate sea salt, which is also dark chocolate, I do believe. Like I said, I think only... Two of these are milk chocolate, maybe three. And I'll find when I tell you, I'll find you. So this one has five ingredients. This one. So they all say share. I think this is dark chocolate as well. But with the sea salt, you can't really, it's not as overpowering. What I will say is kind of overpowering is the sea salt. So if you're not a big fan of sea salt, you're probably not going to be a big fan of this one. Because I think the sea salt really is just, when you bite into a sea salt portion, you're going to get that sea salt portion. It's a good chocolate bar. I just think the levels could be just tone down a little bit more. The dark chocolate is not as bitter, or you don't taste it as much, but that sea salt hits it a little too high sometimes. So the next one, probably the one I should have started with, is the Mr. Beast Original Chocolate Bar. Again, this is a dark chocolate one, so <laughs> people in the comments are going to be like, God, he keeps talking about the dark chocolate. Get it, fine, you don't like dark chocolate, whatever, blah, 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 blah. See, still says share.
Not gonna lie. I can tell that it's dark chocolate, but it's not really overpowering. It's not like, boom. It's a dark, dark chocolate milk bar. I could eat that. I could eat that more of that. Um, yeah, that's a good one. I get it too. It's his original bar, so he's definitely going to want to make sure that his original bar is good. So he doesn't want to overpower you or over hit, hit you over the head with the dark chocolate. So next up is a milk chocolate bar. So you probably heard it's like, hey, everybody's saying that you know dark chocolate. No one, not everybody likes a dark dark chocolate bar. Can we please get a milk chocolate bar? Again, share. Mm. That's sweet, sweet milk chocolate. That's what I like. I don't like that bitter aftertaste that you get with dark chocolate. I get that it is healthier for you, but I just, that milk chocolate is just so sweet all the way through that you don't, you know, that it just, it's to me, Milk chocolate is always going to be the way. I just love it. I'd choose the milk chocolate bar over the original chocolate bar any day of the week. They come close though. The dark chocolate one is not, the original one is not such overpowering as say as the Kenya, Kenya one, but still that bitter taste, that little bit of bitter just does it for me. Next up, we have the crunch bar from Mr. Beast. I love crunch. Crunch and the one coming up um, are my two favorite like regular kind of candy bars. Like if I had to choose a candy bar, or a chocolate bar, it's either a Crunch or a an almond one. I'll just say the almond one. It's share. You can see all the nice almonds in the back there. Oh, and it's milk chocolate. This one's so good. Hands down one of the best ones, especially with the crunch. I get where they're trying to go with the quinoa, but to me the crunch bar wins over the quin queen yeah, quinoa bar any day. Any day of the week. Right now, crunch bar is my number one Mr. Beast feastable bar. And like I mentioned before. Almond bars next. Almond bars are good ones. Like Hershey, Hershey bar is good, but man, Hershey with almonds is the best Hershey bar out there. Come fight me in the comments if you want, but that is my, I'm gonna say that all the time. All right. And I think this is milk chocolate. No, no. There it is. This is dark chocolate, but again, with the nuts, it does elevate it. So I'm not going to put it, I'll rank, I'll rank it when I'm done. But I think, and maybe I just didn't get a good piece, but I think a little bit more ratio with the, the nuts, having more nuts in there with the chocolate would even out that bitterness with the dark chocolate a little bit more, at least in my opinion. And then, brand new, never tried this before, Mr. Beast, these nuts. Um, main reason why I bought, bought the sample pack, because trying to find these, well, in only Walmart at the time of this recording, he just released the press saying, hey, I'm going to be in all these other stores now, and Safeway's one of them, I can't wait. But trying to find these in Walmart are hard. So I ordered the sample box when they got back into stock just so I can try these nuts. And I love the name, because when you're explaining to people what these are and you're like, oh, Mr. Beast has a new candy bar out. Oh yeah, what is this? These nuts. And like, seriously? He's like, yeah, seriously. He named a candy bar these nuts. And it is his peanut butter candy bar. So, and it's not, you know, it's kind of, I don't know if you want to call it like the Reese's and stuff like that. Here's what it looks like in the middle. Kind 
like a coffee taste to it to me. I don't know if it's the mixture of the cho type of chocolate they use. It's milk chocolate or the type of peanut butter they use. But it... I was going into it thinking that I'd like this, that this would probably be my number one or maybe number two. I don't think so. I'm not really enjoying that. It's not the top one in my books. I think the top one's still going to stay with the crunch. The crunch is going to be number one. Followed probably by the almond. Then the milk chocolate bar. Those are my top three now. That's funny. I thought these nuts would actually be better in my book. But no. They aren't. That's sad. All right. Let's get into Carl's gummies. Now, again, they are very, very few um, ingredients. Um, and I guess I should scan to see if I actually win anything. So we'll go try with the sour blue raspberry. I don't know what to expect here. I haven't seen anybody else do a recording on these. I, okay. Number one thing, make it a resealable bag, especially if you're going to have multiples of these. Make them resealable, because that just would make it better. Here's what a Carl Gummy Sour was it, Blue Raspberry looks like. Mmm. Oh, there we go. Mmm. I'm gonna say they're very good. I enjoy them. I could go through those. It does hit the sour level, gives you a nice sour level, sour taste to it. Um, well, or not, you could taste the raspberry in there. Yeah, maybe a little bit. I still think it's really good. I really think it's good. Really good. I could eat that back. I could eat those gummies any day of the week. If I was craving gummies, we we'll do it. Now let's go into the sour apple. Oh man. Eh, no, never mind. I thought you could test, smell that apple flavor. But you can't really. It's just the, the plastic container. Here's what the sour looks like. You can taste that sour apple. That green apple. If you've ever had a green apple before, you know that taste. Man, they really knocked that one out of the park. I'm going to say the sour apple one is my favorite. Man, definitely. That might be like my favorite one for Mr. Beast, to tell you the truth, for these Feastables. But that's it, guys. We went through all of them. We went through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven chocolate candy bars. I picked my top three. What is your favorite chocolate candy bars from Mr. Beast? Have you had them? Have you had Carl's gummies? Which one's your favorite? Do you like the blue raspberry? Do you like the green apple? Let me know down in the comments down below, guys. But of course, if you like what you see here, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. It helps my channel out greatly, and I do truly appreciate it. And that is all I have time for today. I'll see you in the next review.